At our house, we love chickens, and we've decided it's time to expand our flock. In the past, we've gotten chicks many different ways. We've hatched eggs under a broody hen, picked up chicks from a local farm or the feed store. We've even ordered chicks online and had them delivered in the mail. This time, we're going to hatch eggs using an incubator. The main reasons we want chicks is to increase our egg production and add colors to our egg basket. The breed of the chicken and the chicken's genetics will affect the egg color that chicken lays. In general, a brown egg-laying breed mated to a blue egg-laying breed will produce chicks that lay green eggs. For our incubation project, there will be three main elements. Monitoring humidity and temperature, turning the eggs, and candling the eggs to make sure that the eggs were fertilized and the chicks are developing. I will be using the Brinzi Ovation 28 incubator and I have 14 eggs. This incubator is fully automatic, so the turning trays will shift back and forth based on the intervals that I set. Maintaining humidity is also automated. When needed, water is pulled into a tube and dripped slowly inside of the incubator. So how long do we need to wait for our chicks to hatch? In general, the answer is 21 days, but as you will see, that is not precise. We are now at seven days into the incubation process, and it's time to see which eggs are developing. Okay, I see, oh wait a minute. Actually, I see veining on that one. These eggs are really hard to tell. No, I definitely see veining on that one. This is the other one. Okay. All right, I do see. Oh, I saw something move, I think. Did I see something move? Yeah, yes, I did. I see it moving. It's time to candle the eggs again. We're now on day 16. It's hard to see in the video, but there was definitely movement, so this one is a keeper. Here's a new egg, and this is the front. And here's the back of the egg. This one is a quitter, which means it stopped developing at some point. Day 18 is lockdown day, which means we take everything out of the incubator and get set up for hatching. Day 19 has no action so far. On day 20, we start to see some pipping. Halfway through day 20, our first chick hatched. By the time we reached day 21, six chicks had hatched. It takes at least a couple of hours for the chicks to dry out and become fluffy. After waiting about 24 hours after the first chick hatched, I moved the chicks into the brooder. I left the remaining eggs in the incubator. Unfortunately, no other eggs hatched, but we ended up with six chicks and we're very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.